obviously, uh, um, you know, a much needed three points for, for us in that situation we're in the table. But I thought performance, you know, was what we've talked about. I think it was a follow on from our second half against DC. And I think that, um, you know, hopefully we can have that standard uh, every game. Can't play well all the time, but I think the standard was there from um, our endeavor and our fight and our scrapping, which, which was maybe been missing a little bit this year. So. Good all-round team performance, and um, just happy to get the three points. How much is confidence important right now? Uh, I think it's very important. I think that um, I think the new players did a good job of coming in and just kind of, you know, not so much spectacular play, but just normal play that keeps the team moving the ball. You know, they're in the right spots at the right time. The two guys in the middle of the field, I felt, um, were very good for us. I think um, it makes a difference, and then you have confidence to play to them and run off them. Because uh, you know they're not going to lose the ball. And I think that that uh, was the difference to us. You know, I felt, even up to the red card, I felt good today. You know, I thought, you know what, we're going to win today. I really did. I think that, um, you know, them going to get man down, uh, get a few more goals at the end. But I still think we, we deserve the win no matter what. I know the win is the most important thing, but do you have any thoughts on the trophy that you're here today? Um, not really. We lost twice to them and we won, won one game. So. Um, it's nice to win a trophy, but you know, you know, I want to get, make the playoffs. Talk about Cornell a little bit. It seems like he really has the ability to kind of create his own shot for himself. Yeah. He gets the ball in and around the box. Yeah, I mean, Cornell, we've been trying to get for a while. You know, and, um, you know he's had a real the last three or four years. I think he's really matured. And, and I don't think we've quite seen the best of him yet either. I don't think he's 100% fit. It's sort of, it seems at the end of the game he's always sort of a bit sore or cramping or something's like that. So we talked to him a little bit today. He's got to get his fitness out, but I'll tell you what, he is dangerous. You know, he's had a couple of very good opportunities today. He took his goal great. Um, he does work the ball well. He's got that little turn of pace that gets away from defenders and he's a good striker of the ball with both feet. And it shows today. Thanks for coming on the middle line. Middle line, uh, Andre. Good. Yeah, I thought our midfield was excellent today. Um, we've been really working hard on our team shape, you know, with Darren tucking in and not getting too high. And same with you know Shea or Arturo, whoever's been playing there. It's been good. But I thought today it was exceptional. You know, in a, in a game that it, it took a lot of running out there. It was hot, and, but we, we didn't you know take a foot off the gas. I think it was a little lull just after half time where we kind of you know. But I guess that's expected. I thought the first half with us was good, um, but. You know, again, the full 90 minutes. What you got to do? We put it together. We've got to actually got a clean sheet, which is the first one this year. Yeah, it's, uh, good. Starting, starting Kongi as well. Left back. Did great. No problem. Very good. Very comfortable there. You know. Um, so, yeah, I was, I was pleased with a lot of performances today. Shane seemed like he caught some more points up there. Yeah. I mean, you know, I think Shay and Quincy, the two young guys, I think now is sort of seeing the best in them. You know, I think they both learned. I thought Quincy did a nice job of getting off the bench. Um, I thought that um, Shea was, was outstanding today for him. Um, great ball for um, Wando's for, for, for the fourth uh, and the fourth goal. But uh, you know, I think it was a mature performance by a, by a young kid, and I think that was very, very encouraging. Can you speak about with uh, Luis Brato team on your list? Um, just the positional sense, you know, the calmness, uh, presence. He's, he's in there. You know, he's in there. He's always around the ball. He's trying to. He's trying to dictate the, play, the, the pace of our game. I thought him and Ramon were good. You know, on a bit of a bumpy field, wasn't easy to play on. But I think that um, our football was nice at times. It was quite exciting. I thought we broke well. We were dangerous all night, all day, I should say. And that was great to see. Frank, it seemed like uh, teammates already are looking at Andre Luis. Like, the first match, seems like he's like the leader. You were really looking at him. What does that mean to you? Um, well, I think we've maybe been lacking that that real presence, not so much in the middle of the field, but any position. I think that um, you know he's got the quality to be very good in this league. You know, although he's you know he's not the youngest guy in the world, but he's very fit and he glides around the field with no issues. So um, it's good to, to have him on board with us. I think that um, you know our team will gravitate to good players. He's a good, he's, he is a good player. He's shown from day one when he comes to practice. Uh, we've seen enough on DVD to bring him in and all those things to bring him in and it's just like, you know, let's get him signed. And uh, he's been great. How long is his loan for? Just to the end of the year? Um, we have to ask John. Uh, I think it's for next year as well. Yeah, so 18 months. Which is good. You know, doing a lima where we, you know, 
don't want to lose him after you know six months and you're trying to replace him all the time. So we're trying to keep all our players together as much as we can and, and have a better start than we've had this year, obviously. But um, it sometimes takes a while for a team to kind of get it together. It's only one game, though. So we're going to come out of the gate next week against a very good Columbus side and get some good results to 